Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. Guys, in this video, we are going to see Gen C actual uh, assessment deductive reasoning questions that were asked based on switch challenge. Okay, so in gamified aptitude, we have a topic called as switch challenges. Okay, so in that we get multiple questions. You have to like keep your speed very high in order to solve these questions. Okay, because there will be a lot of questions that will be coming one after the other. The more you attempt or clear, the better your marks is and better your performance is. Okay. Make sure to watch this video till complete end as I will be showing you how to solve these types of questions and you can practice those questions before your Gen C assessment. And if you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. Okay. And I want two things from you. If you found this video helpful, please write the word helpful. And if you want more preparation video, please write that because otherwise I don't get to know that how many of you are attempting your Gen C examination. The more the comments that I get, the better I will bring next video very soon. Okay. So let's get started with video before that if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel as I regularly post these kinds of helpful videos for all of you. There is a complete playlist on my channel related to Gen C preparation make sure to check that you will find a lot of helpful material over there too. So let's start with the first thing. So guys let's understand how we can solve deductive reasoning switch challenge based questions okay. So see for, I will be using this image to make you understand how this concept works. So basically in these types of questions you will be having three things okay. You will be have an, having an input, one output and then you will be having different multiple codes that are given to you. Okay, Now you have to tell this output if gone through a particular code what will be the output you will get. Okay, If this input gone through a particular code what will be the output you will get. Now how we will solve it? Let's see this question only. So see let's mark these images as 1, 2, 3, 4 okay, to understand it better. Now in our answer figure which image is first? 3 then which is there? 2 then a fourth and then one. So let's see if we have this code or not. Three, two, four, one. Yes, we have. So our input is following this code and then it is covered, converting it to output. So in this way, we have to solve these types of questions. Now let's see different types of questions that can be formed on this concept. Let's see this question that we have. So in this question, we have again inputs, okay, input images. Then we have different codes given to us and then we have outputs. Let's see how we will solve it. So for simplicity, I will mark the images as 1, 2, 3 and 4 so that I can make you understand in a better way. Now let's see this triangle is at which position. So it is again at here only. Second image was circle. It is also here. Third image is here. So I will mark it 3 here and fourth image is here. Let's see the code that we have 1, 2, 4, 3. So this will be the correct answer in this case, okay, because our input is going through this code to get the output which is given to us. Okay. So I hope you are understanding how we are finding the answers. So the answer for this will be 1, 2, 4, 3. Okay. Moving on to the next question. Let's look at this question. Again, in order to solve it, what I will do is first of all, I will mark these numbers. Okay. Uh, mark, I will give them markings to the figures. Okay. Now we have input, we have codes and when we have output. Okay, let's see how we can solve it. So first of all, what we will do is we will give the numbering to the output one. Okay, so see plus is at number one position, circle was at number two, star was at four and then this is at three. So how you will solve it? Three, four, two, one. So this is the correct code for this. Okay, so the answer for this is going to be three, four, two, one. Now guys, I will give you a quick trick. Okay, because you know these types of questions you need to attempt a lot of questions in short time. So how you will do it? So see, first of all, whenever you get the question, you can't do any numbering and all. Okay, while I'm explaining, I'm doing this numbering and all for so that you understand better. What you have to do, you have to understand what is at the first place. See, first place, uh, you have plus. Okay, in the answer figure, what is uh, where is first? Okay, so first is at the last place. Check your options. How many in how many options one is coming at the end? So in only one option, one is coming at the end. So yes, this is only going to be the correct answer. In this way, you can solve these questions very quickly and without wasting any time because usually elimination method will definitely work in these kinds of questions. Okay. Like if you have, uh, if you are solving this question, try to figure it out this way. And if the question is complex, then you can take more time. But with this way, uh, it will be solved very quickly. Let's move on to the next question. Let's look at this question. So we have again input figures. And then we have output figures and the, we have different codes. We have to tell which is the correct code that will convert the input to the output. Okay. So first of all, I'll tell you trick how you can do it quickly. Okay. Kind of short trick without wasting more time. See, first understand what is coming on the first portion. Okay. The first portion that the thing that is coming is this fourth, fourth figure. So you can see uh, in your answer figure, the answer will start with four. Okay. So check your options now. So in your option, you can see you have only one option as your answer, which is starting with four. So this is only going to be the correct answer. In this way, you have to quickly check it. Okay. 
and the other thing is you know you might have other option also like for example if you have the codes like this okay 4 1 2 3 or something like 4 1 2 4 and 4 1 2 3 okay like all the options are starting with 4 only then you have what you have to do you have to check your codes uh, that in your codes like which digit is different okay which can easily help you to identify it so in that case you have to use that but in our case all the first digits were different so we have used that only okay from the output hope you have understood it now now let's verify our answer so i will give the markings to the remaining also and we will see where they are going so star is 2 circle is 1 and then plus is 3 so our final code is 4123 as we have already found out with the short trick moving on to the next question let's see this types of questions so guys in this types of question you have one more level up okay let's see first of all what we will do we will simply do the markings okay now in the first level the already code is given to us that is this figures will go through this code and we will get one output okay and based on that output that we get again it has to go via some more code and then we will get this final output so how you will solve this question is so if we will pass this input through this code okay that is 2143 so what we will get the output as 2 that is triangle 1 is plus uh, 4 is circle and then 3 which is a start so this is the output we have got at this point now we have to check okay again we have to give the markings here 1 2 3 4 okay and now we have to check how we, our output is getting formed so let's see circle is 3 trying, uh, plus is 2 triangle is 1 and then star is 4 so this is our output that we are getting so let's see if we have this code 3 2 4 1 yes 3 2 4 1 is there so this one is the correct answer for this one okay 3 2 Four, one. I hope you understood this type of question here at one level the code was already given to us so based on that we have to reduce the figure and then based on the figure deduced we have to uh, find out what is the exact code that is getting followed okay let's move on to the next one let's look at this code so in this one what we have is we have input figures and then we have a code that is given to us based on which we have to generate a figure and then based on that figure again we have to gen find out what will be the correct code that is getting followed so first step is let's give them the marking quickly one two three four and then using this code what i will do is i will make my figure okay so see four two three one so four is what plus two is triangle three is circle and then one is star now this is our new pattern based on this we have to see how our co which code is getting followed to give the particular output let me give the new markings to this one two three four and then what i will do i will check okay so one is it in its own place two is also here then four is there and then three is there so let's see if we have this code one two four three yes first one is the correct answer okay so in this way one two four three will be the correct answer for this one hope you have understood these types of questions in these types of question basically a figure image input image will be given to you and one code will be given to you that you have to exactly follow based on that you have to deduce the image and then based on the deduced image you have to figure out what will be the code that will be followed to give the output given okay so the correct answer in this case will be one two four three so guys so far we have solved a lot of question now i have one diy question for you diy as in do it yourself i will not be telling you the answer of this question you need to comment down the answer of this question so you have a given input figures and then you have different codes you have to tell based on these codes which is the correct code that the input should be passed through so that we will get the output figures okay so make sure to attempt this question and write down your answers in the comment box so that's all for today guys i hope you found the video helpful if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section make sure to join me on telegram and instagram as well you can ask your queries in the instagram dm as well and if you need any content you can request it on your on our telegram channel make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet to receive all the latest regular updates i regularly post off campus drives and preparation related videos for placements on my channel so that's all for today's video thanks for watching the video